Oh, honey, you're back home early. <laughs> not that I'm not glad to see you or anything, but um, why's that? Oh, okay, so have they given you the rest of your work to do at home? Okay. Yeah, no, that's no problem at all. Have, have you got much more to do? Okay. Hmm. Well, I was, um, I was kind of hoping I could talk to you. Something very important. Oh, babe, no, 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 it's, it's okay, you don't have to pack it all up. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Anyway, the kettle finished boiling just before you got back. Do you want a tea? A coffee? Or shall I call it a cup of diabetes, the amount of sugar you put in a hot drink? <laughs> mm. Must give you that energy boost you need, you know, that kick up the arse. Anyway, you never said, tea or coffee? Okay, coming right up. There you go, darling. So, um, let's just talk about this in a, in a theoretical sense. Okay, so, what's your opinion on, on, on children? Okay, cool. Um, and, and do you ever plan on having children? You do? <laughs> I do too. Well, in that case, I have some very exciting news. I'm... <sighs> Come on, I can say it. I'm pregnant. I did a pregnancy test this morning when you first woke up, but you're already at work and I wanted to wait to tell you till you got back, so yeah, I wanted to tell you face to face. But we are going to be parents to a beautiful baby. There's a little tiny human going inside of me. Hun? You're happy, aren't you? Oh, you're just shocked. <laughs> okay, you had me worried for a minute there. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I understand. I mean, it's a life-changing thing, having a baby. I'm still struggling to process it myself. But we'll adjust, won't we? Yes. Babe, I'm, I'm sure it says positive. Here, I took a picture of the test so you could see it for yourself. Take a look. Yes. I, I promise you, babe, this is the real deal. No pranks. Hey. No, it's okay. Yeah, I get it. I know you're happy about it, you're just shocked. And with the shock comes the doubt and, you know, it's completely normal. I mean, if anything, I'd be more concerned if you weren't. <laughs> anyway, I was, um, I was kind of hoping we could have a thorough talk about it all, you know? We need a plan to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Um, how, how's your job doing? Is it paying well? Good. Good. Well, obviously, I don't mean that in a prying way. No, I, I just wanted to make sure that we can support this baby financially as well as emotionally. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my work's going really well. I mean, the hair salon is really picking up nicely. I was even thinking about making myself more accessible, like, like home appointments. I mean, a, a lot of hairdressers are doing it nowadays. 
and they get to charge extra for the trouble of travelling to the house, so even more of a bonus. I'm going to need all the tips I can get. If we're going to do this, we're, we're going to do it properly. I want to save up some money to transform the back bedroom into a nursery. Oh, and we need to we need to buy baby grows, prams, baby bottles, the lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared, babe. I'm terrified. Oh come on. You and I both know that my pain tolerance is so weak. How am I gonna cope with the pain of childbirth? What if I can't do it? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. We should cross that bridge when we get there. Well, maybe I should take those, like, mothering classes? I forget the actual name of them, but they, they teach you all the coping skills for the symptoms that you get through pregnancy. How to, how to deal with contractions and labour, you know? I'll be surrounding myself with people that are going through exactly the same thing as I am. I could make a few friends while I'm at it. That'd be great. I know I talk to a lot of people at the hair salon, but I, I don't really have many friends. I mean, a lot of them are like, you know, the one and done kind of people. They'll come in for an appointment and then you never see them again. <laughs> oh, God. I just, I just thought of something. How am I, how am I gonna break the news to my parents? Um, how, how are you going to break the news to, to your parents? I, I haven't even been to see your parents to know how they'd react. Do you, do you think they're going to be mad at us? Do you think so? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see now, won't we? I have no clue how I'm going to tell my family. They would go eight. If I told them I was pregnant, they've always lectured me ever since I started secondary school, harping on at me about how I need to wait until marriage to have a kid and how they want me to be at least 25 before even contemplating it, you know? They want me to live this fantasy role model life, but I never have lived that way, especially not since I moved out. Anyway, I shouldn't be thinking about that just yet. Silly me jumping to all the negatives when I should be celebrating the fact that you and I we are having a baby and this is this is such a gift a blessing to us oh hun, no 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 you, you shouldn't tell your parents just yet I, I know you're bursting to shout it from the rooftops but I feel like we should tell everyone all at the same time you know you know what they're like. They'll all be arguing over who was told first. They could start an argument in an empty room, they could. <laughs> no, we should... Oh. We should hold a party. Yeah. A party and we'll invite everyone and announce the good news then, yeah? <laughs> I'm being serious about this, you know. Does this sound like a plan? Okay. Good. Yeah, we'll invite everyone, and we'll find someone who'll sort out catering. I mean, all the kids, they can play together in the spare bedroom, it'll be fun. And my parents will be less likely to blow their fuse if they're in front of everybody else. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I just keep rambling on and on, but I feel like we need to talk about all of this stuff. You know? We need to make a plan, even if it's just for my sake. Like, you, you can just wing stuff all the time and I, although I don't agree with your winging it method I must admit the fact that you just jump into the tide without even a second thought is rather admirable sometimes I must admit oh um um next week I I should probably book my first antenatal appointment with the doctor shouldn't I and I'm I'm gonna have to find a way to stop the smoking as well can I ask you something Okay, um, no matter how cranky I get from not having a cigarette, don't let me touch them, please. 
I know I probably can't stop smoking on my own. Thank you, babe. I honestly feel like I don't deserve you sometimes. I know that, babe. But it's, it's so difficult not to be stressed right now, you know? I'm overjoyed, don't get me wrong, but at the same time I'm thinking about how busy these next nine months are gonna go. I mean, we have to sort out a nursery, announce it to the family, go to all the appointments, buy all the clothes and things a baby would need, figure out names, decide whether we want to know the gender of the baby or if we want it to be a surprise. And, and if we do want to know the gender, then people are probably going to be expecting us to do like a massive gender reveal party or something. I've got to find out all the foods and medicines that I need to avoid during pregnancy and the symptoms I'm going to start getting sooner or later. I still have so much work, work to do and I just... I'm sorry, now I'm stressing you out. Don't get me wrong, I am so, so happy we're having a baby together. But we can't lie to ourselves. It wasn't planned. We weren't trying for a baby. If if we'd been planning it, I could have got some of this done ahead of time. And no, just because it wasn't planned doesn't mean I'm not gonna. It doesn't mean I'm gonna love it any less. Just I I just wasn't expecting it. That's all. I love you so much, babe. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna um stop stressing you out, and I'm I'm gonna head upstairs and have a nap for a bit to clear my head. Once I've calmed down a bit, I'll come back down and we can talk about all of this properly because this has just been more me venting at you instead of a conversation. You don't mind? <laughs> you mean the world to me, babe. Do you know that? Anyway, don't let your drink go cold, okay? If I'm not awake in about two hours time, could you just come and wake me up so I can get dinner started? Thank you, babe. Okay, I'll talk to you in a bit. Love you. Mm -hmm.